Hello, this is Professor Urbis White. This is an orientation for Math 10 online for the spring semester 2018. So I'll just follow, follow along. Um, your lifeline, ivc.edu. We are, your course is managed through Canvas and you can access your email right here and the canvas right here and my web page through the ivc.edu website. Now, uh, when you go to academics and math area, you will find my name and then you'll come in there and it has my office hours, my entire schedule and this is the web address to access my web, uh, website directly. Now, I'm available five hours a week as office hours in B262D. It's in B200 building. And my email address is right here. And my phone number is right here. When you call that number, if you don't get me in person, you can leave a message and an email is sent to me. So I do check my emails uh, on a daily basis. So I'll be able to get back to you within 24 hours. So if I do not, maybe something went south, south and make sure that you email me again. Now, the other thing is Mass Center. That will uh, help you out. It's in B363. It's free. And when you go there, it's in B300 building, second floor. Um, you can sign up for a class called TU301. And it's free even though you sign up for it. It is just for um, record keeping purposes. And these are current hours. They are open Monday through Friday and Saturday in the morning. So um, you can also access computers and all that in there. If you run into IVC computer problems, this is the phone number you need to call, 4515696. Now, your class is going to be the Via Pearson Ed, which is a publisher-based program. And you're going to do your homework, your quizzes in there. Um, so make sure that you understand how that works. This is the phone number if you get into trouble and make sure it's 800 number so you don't pay for it and then pick option one. If they change that number, if you call this number, if they change it, they will let you know. There will be a recording. You can also go online for chat line. They are fairly good about it and you can ask them for your um, technical questions. Now. You need to do the orientation, I call it orientation 1, 2, 3, by January 19th. That is a Friday, and that's when your class officially starts. Now, you need to make sure that you submit your contract in Canvas, entry survey in Canvas, and email me that you did that um, before that date. Then you have to also access Pearson and get an account. You pay extra for that and before uh, you come in. Now, if you do this one, step one, step two, and step three, you do not have to come in on January 19th. If you do not, if you miss one of them, let's say you did everything but the contract, you have to come in to keep your space because I have a wait list and I will take in students that are petitioning on that day. So, in-person orientation is January 19th, Friday, 7 to 8 p.m. in District 104. Um, you need to come in there not to be dropped for no-show if you do not finish the orientation, as I told you in the previous slide. All right. Now, you know how to access Canvas, and I will just show you what that looks like. You access Canvas from ivcinstructor.com from the IVC's main page, and your class will look something like this, Math 10 Online, and it's going to have that bell-shaped curve. 
So what you do is you click on it and it will take you to the class and you're going to have the module series shortcut and statistics videos here and announcements will be here. Modules will have all sorts of stuff in there. And then uh, my lab and mastering, that's where it will take you to the homework. And I'll, I will um, walk you through that. You can check your grade. And then you can see what is, um, this is not the paper syllabus because you are going to find that in the modules area. Um, so this is kind of like your lifeline. You will come into Canvas and then you'll click on My Lab and Mastering to get to homework and quizzes. Now, when you do that, and I'll walk you through in real time, when you click on my lab and mastering what it will do it will take you to a site i'm doing this live right now when you go open my lab and mastering mine just opens up because i am the instructor for you what it will happen you'll eventually get in here but there are a couple of steps that you need to do before um, you get to this page um your Assignments will be under assignments. Your book will be in chapter content. Content. Then your grade for the homework will be here. If you need data sets for discussions and stuff, it's going to be here. Multimedia library is going to have the videos. This is the site where you are going to access your homework, videos, and all that stuff. The problem it is that when you pay for IBC, this is not free. You have to pay for this, and I'll walk you through the steps. So this will re this will replace your book. So your book will be here. So let me uh, walk you through. So um, we were in Canvas, remember? To do the uh, orientation one, two, threes, you have to go to assignments. You have to take the contract entry survey in here. So you finish this before January 19, so that's not going to cost you anything. After that, you can actually look at this orientation uh, by accessing the modules and orientation slide, this area. I will also put the video in there. I will send you an email one week before January 19. However, um, you can just, let's say you missed that email, you can go to Canvas. Um, hopefully you'll just fiddle around and you'll find that orientation. But it's important that you have to check your emails on a daily basis since you are taking an online class. I'm still in Canvas. Now, when you click on My Lab and Mastery, remember it took me to the site directly. For you, you're going to see this thing. You have to pay, you have to sign up for it. So the way it works, when you click on it, you know, I want to have access, it will give you this page, My Lab with Pearson eText Course Home. So when you click on it, it's going to say, well, do you want to use a credit card or do you want to use an access code that you bought from your bookstore? I will do both. When you click on the credit card option, um, it's going to take you to this page. Here you have to enter your name and all that stuff and um, and you're in and it gets activated right away. Then the next time you go in there when you click on the My Lab and Mastery it's going to take you to the site the way it did for me. Now at the bottom of this screen there is this option it says, do you want to just, you know, kind of like look around and you're not sure you want to take the class. I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to get a temporary account and then kind of look around because you know, you may like it, you may not like it. Because this class has a high demand, so I appreciate it. If you're not committed to the class, please, please do not take it. Um, if you're committed, then you'll just get in and get a permanent code. But the system will give you an option of a temporary access, but I want you to get a permanent access to, to finish your orientation. Now, um, 
if at some point the system asks you for class ID, you're in the wrong place. Um, I cannot really do a whole lot. You might have clicked some buttons that you weren't supposed to click. Um, but you can call the tech support and then get some help and ask them, okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, now, like I said, you have to complete the entry survey and contract within Canvas under assignments. You have to email me that you did so and uh, purchasing your permanent access. And I just didn't tell you about my email addresses, but you can get that from um, my webpage, but it's iwhite at ivc.edu. So you can just email me and tell me that you did it. Then you attend the orientation if you didn't finish all this. And then make sure that you complete the orientation the latest by January 22nd. If you don't do that, then you will be dropped for no show. Okay, now how do you do this class? So this is kind of like confusing. The first thing, you're going to get your syllabus. That's inside Canvas. When you go to uh, modules, you'll get a printout. Get a printout of that and put all these deadlines in your personal calendar. Then watch the instructional video. This video again, make sure you understand it. Um, so when you get your access to my math lab, you're going to have to watch some instructional videos over there because that's how you're going to learn the material. And then you're going to have to have access to your ebook. Once you pay for it, you're going to have that. You're going to do your homework and quiz inside Pearson, that the system that you bought. Then there will be a discussion board at the end of each chapter that's going to be in Canvas, not in my math lab. And then you have to email me your progress on a regular basis. And when you email me, you need to get something called an email quiz that's going to provide you with a point that will go forward your class total. Now, where are the class videos? They are in either Pearson, that system that you bought, under multimedia, and you just can kind of look at it. And per chapter, it has a link, and then let's say you're learning chapter one, just watch the chapter one videos. Um, now, in addition to that, for statistics class, you're going to have to use some technology. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish this um, class properly. And you are going to be allowed to uh, use a graphing calculator in the midterm and the final. But I will teach you how to do that. And the class videos are on the very first page when you access Canvas. You click in there and there are like 10 or 11 videos that's supposed to teach you how to use your calculator. Please don't underestimate this. There are some students who failed the class because they just did not watch the videos. All right. Now, where's the book? That's inside the Pearson under Chapter Contents. That's where you're going to read it. And where's the homework? It's inside Pearson again in the homework. And where are the quizzes? You can only take quizzes once. They are not timed. And then after you email me, you're going to click on assignment and then you're going to submit this email quiz saying that you actually um, did email me and now you get a point that goes forward your uh, total in class. It is graded. All right. Now, how about the discussions? Where do I access that? That's inside Canvas. When you go to assignments, you're going to see these discussions. When you look at your um, syllabus, you're going to have those deadlines, and you put them in your calendar so you know them. So, for example, the first discussion is due February 4th. Make sure you do that. It is something that you post online. Not only you have to post your online um, solutions, you have to comment to somebody else. You cannot see other students' progress without posting your own. So you have to post your own comment and then go comment to someone in your classroom.
and you'll be graded for that. All right. Now, when you come to the discussion board, you're going to click on the reply. It's going to look like this. For example, I'm giving you a website that says, who is the best player? You just click on reply to do the statistics portion of it. All right. Now, let's talk about the dates. Orientation is 119. Hopefully, I cleared everything up. Midterm is 316. You have to come in for that. That's not negotiable. Final 518, make sure you do not have conflict with other classes. All right? Um, now, again, I'm saying it one more time. During 1978, you have to finish orientation one, two, threes to waive this requirement. If you do not, you have to come in to hold your place. All right? There may be additional meetings, but I'll let you know. It depends how you do your class. So let me take you from the very beginning. Hopefully um, that will help. So let's say I am in www.idc.edu. Okay, here you are. You're going to click on Canvas. And your class will look something like this. Math 10 online. Click on it. So this is a shortcut for the module, so you can click on the module. Statistics videos are here to learn, for you to learn how to use your calculator. This is going to take you to a YouTube site, and then you're going to have, for example, displaying data in graphical form. So you're going to see these things. You can make it big, and then um, you just watch this stuff. And uh, it tells you how to use your calculator. All right, does that make sense? All right. Okay. Okay, so I, I'm not going to go into that. So um, let's go back to Canvas. Now, when you click on modules, you're going to see the um, orientation that I am recording right now the orientation slides that i showed you you can watch those yourself under handouts you're going to have your syllabus i'm going to add it right here right about counting principles and you also have some uh, handouts that you may want you may want to uh, look at now video list these are the things that you need to watch so it, it is kind of like a cross-reference. It's in Canvas. Now, multimedia videos, that, that's, in the, that's in Pearson. For example, for Chapter 1, you have to watch these videos. And then um, you, I do not have a graphing calculator video related to that. This is all reading. But in Chapter 2, you have these videos inside Pearson. You watch those. And then you have the video lectures on calculators. So you either click in here or you copy and paste and you watch those videos as well. Then chapter 3, chapter 4. So you have to watch those videos to learn the material. Now, what else do you need to do? Um, you need to go and access the assignments to do your orientation. So if you go in assignments, you're going to see that you have the contract entry survey. That's part of your orientation you need to do. You click on it and you read it, you understand it, you say, yeah, it's true, I understand everything. For entry survey, you just have to give me some information about yourself. And at the end of the class, 16 weeks from now, you have to take the exit survey. Now, remember, you also have discussion boards. You have to do a discussion board at the end of each chapter. The way it works, you just click on it, and it opens up a question, and then you have to post your answer in there. This is taking a little while. And then you are going to comment to somebody else's posting. Now, let me show you how you sign up for My Math Lab. I call the word my math lab, my lab, and mastery, Pearson, all interchangeably. You'll click on it. When you click on it, it's going to open this page. 
but I show it in the PowerPoint presentation. You have to enter and get, you know, pay for it. Once you pay for it, you it will give you this, and then you can open and you can get into the class. Now, once you get into the class, remember you have to. Um, this is taking a little while. Um, I told you about multimedia library. This is where you're going to have your lecture videos. For example, I want to learn chapter one, introduction to statistics, all sections. I want to look at the videos. And then when you say find now, it's going to go and find those videos. And this is a little slow right now. And then you click on the video and watch it. This is for chapter one, chapter two, and so forth. Now, after you watch the video, you can read your book. You, you read your book by clicking on the chapter content, let's say chapter one, and this is what makes your um, paper book redundant. You can go to, you know, you can watch the video presentation here, or you can look at the e-text. So when you look at the e-text, it's going to look just like um, e-book, okay? Um, so it may ask you to get a flash, just get a flash at the beginning so that you don't have to run into this problem. Um, nobody uses flash anymore, but these guys still do. All right, now, after you do that, let me get out of here somehow. Uh, let me hear, yeah, let me go to main menu so that I can show you the uh, assignment. So I showed you the videos and the book. Now when you go to the assignments, you're going to do your assignments in here. Here's your homework, and you can see the due date in here, but the syllabus is inside Canvas. You can just look at the syllabus. I will also email it to you. Um, so you're going to have deadlines. Um, homework 1, you click on it. It's going to open it up, and you just click on the questions and you do it. And some questions are multiple choice, some questions are just fill in. Um, now you can save your work, get out, it will just save it. You know when you go to the next problem, it's going to save the problem that you already did. Okay, it is extremely slow right now. Um, let me see if it's going to go to the next question. If it doesn't, it's just slow or my flash is not working. Um, now, I have to wait. Oh, here it is. Okay, for example, this is a multiple uh, choice question. You just go and you just bubble it. Now, if you need help at this point while you're doing the homework, you can go to your textbook or you can go ask my instructor. I would just minimize that. Stat crunch is going to take you step by step, but that's not worth looking at. Just try to do the thing. Sometimes you will have a video link in here. So but after you watch the video and read your book, this should be fairly straightforward. Okay, so assignments has your homework. Assignments also, you can spend as much time as you want. When you scroll this down, you have your quizzes, but look at it. You can only take it one time. So make sure that you only take it one time. And like I made an error here, I have to correct this. Um, then you have to start emailing me things. Okay, so you're going to go to IVC site and email me. So let's say I'm you, okay? I'm going to go to IVC.edu. And I'm going to click on email. And you're going to click in here. For me, I'm going to click here. And you're going to have to go and, you know, I got in. You have to enter your email thing. But I, oops, I need to make sure that you understand how to email me. So you're going to type your things. You can also email me from Canvas. Um, when I um, send you things, you can just reply to me. So there are a lot of different ways of doing this. So um, if you have questions, let me know. But you have to go and you have to get oriented before um, 
January 19, that's what's important. So I'll send you the syllabus and um, the steps one more time. And then it's going to be a hybrid approach between Canvas and my MATLAB or Pearson. All right. Thank you for watching.